truth. Oh, that's good. Okay, hello everyone. Sandra here. Ron and I are running tonight's Q and A. Um, and there's a couple of things that we would like to talk through tonight, but I think we're going to start with the uh, incentive trip for this year, which is the Mexican Riviera cruise. And um, Bex asked that we would give an overview of what we need to do. Um, so I've never explained this before, um, except to myself. So I, I'm going to give my understanding of how it works. And... Um, and and just to say that it is still possible that we can go because we've still got a, we've still got a lot of time to get the people that we need to qualify in order to go. So I can share so. my screen. I want to share my screen, um, and then I'm going to show the video as well, just so that we can get a little bit pumped up about it. Oh, here we go. Share my screen. Right here. Can you see this? Oh, hang on, maybe not. Not yet. Okay. You see now? We just ask people to pop themselves on mute as they come in. I don't have. Yes, we can see that. Okay. Oh, I can see your whole screen. Yep, that's good. Thank you. So, um, the, the incentive trip is all about building your baseline. And I wanted to show you how they determined, Solix determined your baseline from the end of August, the 31st of August last year. And it's by this number here, direct active customers and direct active QLAs. And you can see that I have zero in both of those. So everyone will have... Um, a different number some people might have zero some people might have um more in active customers or more in active qlas but um the goal here is in order for you to win a trip just for yourself to the mexican riviera you need to have a total of 15 combined in these two boxes so 15 either combination any combination of direct active customers and direct active active qlas that totals up to the number 15 and you have to have those for a minimum from a three month period. So it doesn't have to be the same um, people, the same 15 people. It can ebb and flow, but they, whoever it is has to have been active for three months and they have to have been active, um, I think it's till the end of July. Hang on, is that right? I've just got to check my notes on that. So, if you want to take another person with you, like two of you want to go, then that's got to that those two boxes there have to add up to twenty five, okay, um, on top of your baseline. So it might seem it might some people might think that's quite achievable. Some people might think that's quite a lot. Uh, there's ways that you can reduce the number of active customers and QLAs that you need in order to meet this 15 or this 25 target. And that's by you ranking up. So um, for every rank that you get, say, for example, me, say I was to hit bronze. No, that won't work for me. If Amanda, and because Amanda's in my upline, right, I'm not sure. I think Amanda's gold. So if I was to rank up to bronze, and she needs, so say she just needs 10 people, because I've ranked up to bronze, she gets, um, that counts as two people towards the trip or two active um, people towards that trip. So instead of needing to have 10, she only needs to have eight. Does that make sense? And if Amanda goes up from gold to platinum, she gets to take um, five off that target of what was 10 and then went down to eight because of me and then five because she broke rank as well. So it means that then what's that? Three. You've got to get three. But we've got to you've got to be able to hold that rank. Oh sorry. Do you mind um just making sure you're muted please everyone? Yeah you've got to be able to hold that rank in order to qualify for those for those points. Um I wanted to share if I can get my my screen. Um, 
Okay, you can see. Can you see this? The Mexican Riviera Troop. There is a there is a really big blog post on the Solex blog um, blog page about this, and that's where I got all the information. Because um, at first I didn't really. I had to go through it a little bit to wrap my head around it. But I'm going to put the this blog post in our chat. And then I'm also just going to play the first little bit of this YouTube video just to kind of get everyone a little bit pumped up and a bit excited. Oh, no sound. There's no sound from my end, Sandra. Oh, okay. Mm, sorry about that. No sound. Okay. All right. Well, that's very helpful. Um, okay, hang on. Let me just... Right. So does that make sense to people? Has anyone got any questions about that? I just wanted to keep it really simple and I think it is, if you have a look at that blog post, it actually, um, it spells it all out, right? It goes through it in, in, in quite a bit of detail to give you an idea of how you can break rank and um, and the benefits. of. It's really about if you're leading a team already, it's not just about building yourself up, but it's about bringing the others up with you. So helping them to, to get more people on board and also to break rank because that help ultimately helps you but at the end of the day, we're really just um, we're really just helping everyone, each other, aren't we? And that's what it's all about. Um, does anyone have any questions about that? Beth, did you want to put in your testimonial from when you went to um, Punta Cana? I can indeed, absolutely. Hey, everyone. Um, great to see you all. Um, okay, well, Punta Cana was a bit of a uh challenge for me because it was an incentive that I actually felt like I really understood from the get-go and I worked really hard towards and then it was only eight weeks out from the end of qualification and I'm going to switch my screen on sorry I've got like mum bun hair going on um and it was then that I realized oh hi Minnie it was then that I realized that I was nowhere near my goal. And not only was I nowhere near my goal, I was actually backwards. So I had to make a decision then and there. Do I just not bother or do I really run for it? Because I know that anything is possible uh, should we just make the decision. And I chose to go for it. Now, I chose that I would qualify. And the minute that I qualified, I would run for the second spot so that I could get um, my second ticket as well and so I did that and uh, unfortunately my husband wasn't able to come with me because he travels to the US himself in um, only a number of weeks time uh, representing Australia in shooting which is pretty cool but I knew that he wasn't going to be available to come with me and my best friend who's been my best friend for over 30 years has been having a really hard time and she's like my number one supporter. She's my number one cheerleader. She's always there for me. And I thought, could you imagine a better gift to give somebody than an overseas vacay that she can come with me, all expenses paid. She just, she could not believe it. She thought she was dreaming like the whole time. And it was just brilliant. You know, we were welcomed by the corporate team to Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. Um, another company uh, who friends of mine are with had just come back from Punta Cana, same resort, funnily enough, um, and they got two or three nights. That was all they got. And we had five nights, six days. We had, we had the opportunity to sit down with Lauren and have one-on-ones and group discussions about, you know, the technology, uh, questions, Q&A, like he was just so kind with his time. Kai and Shelby, of course, were there. 
it was just incredible. It was honestly, I think once you've been on one of these trips, you will not want to miss it. But I think for people, sometimes I feel like it's a little bit out of their reach or they're sort of the trips that other people get to do. What I love about Solex is that these aren't just top leaders going on these trips. This is achievable for anybody who is willing to do the work. So should you choose and should you make the decision? And that's honestly all that you have to do um, and get to work. You can 100% do this. This is the most generous um, this is honestly the most generous and achievable trip I have ever seen. This one more so than the last one, because now you can do it with ranking points, mm. um, which is brilliant. I timed my rank advancement beautifully because as I ranked to Pearl, it actually qualified me pretty much solidly for the trip for one anyhow. So I'm only a number of points off that trip for two, but I can assure you that if you set your target, and you work for it, I'm no different to anybody else. Um, there's nothing special about me that's more special than anybody else on this call tonight or anyone watching the replay. I'm just willing to make sacrifices and dedicate what I need to do to get there. And I know that you guys can do that too, should you choose to. And you're all on this call tonight, so I'm sure that's the case. And I'm not going by myself, so hurry up, everyone, and qualify so you can all come with me. <laughs> Is anybody else qualified yet, Beth? You know? uh, off the top of my head, uh, I know that one of Marielle's girls is super, super close. Um, I think, I'm not sure about Belle, but I know she's, there's quite a few people who are really close. So, yeah, there's a lot of people who have it very much in their sights. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, does anybody on this call have any questions you want to ask um, Beck about the trip or anything about um the, how to get there, what you need to do. Got any do, ideas you want to brainstorm? I do know uh, that the cutoff um, date is the 31st of August. So, and it's having, um, as you said, the three the three months of having a minimum of 15, um, whether it's direct to the customers or QLAs, isn't it? Um, yeah, so as well. So, and like you said, completely achievable. And... Yeah. It is. I mean, we're, we're, we're what, just at the end of April today, so we've got four months. Yeah, so um, Paula, you would need to have your numbers by the end of June, June. Um, and then maintain those numbers June, July and August. Um, you would need to hit your rank if you're rank advancing, which personally I see that as if you've been here in Solex for a while and you've got quite a number of PCs and QLAs, your best bet's probably going to be rank advancing. If you're new and you don't have a huge, like if your baseline number is zero or quite low, you're, you could do a combination of both, but definitely bringing on PCs and QLAs will be the key. But um, you really do need to make sure you've hit that rank um, by the end of June so that you can maintain. So June, July, August, then you've qualified the rank, which means that'll, add you up all those points yeah and, and then, those sorry so those clients that ha you have you can't bring new ones in after the end of june to there has to be no. they have to have been there that's right yeah, yeah. and the other thing i was going to say um there was Beck, uh, Beck did a, a call an opportunity call a few weeks back about the think drops didn't you and how you could use them to help you qualify and get yourself get yourself um, ranked and, and qualified to go on the trip. So um, it would be worthwhile if you haven't had a look at that to have a look at that and see mm. and that too. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Absolutely. And those think drops are like magic. Just my son's putting a motor in his vehicle and his wrists, um, he just overdid it. And straight away, he just felt a difference in his wrists. You know, he's 22 years old and, you know, they think they're bulletproof. He was amazed. Yeah. <laughs> um, the think drops. So he's, he's, um, he's already on the tablet. So he's keen to swap to the, to the drops. Yeah. Already. Cause he loved them. They're amazing. It's really, just, really good impact, isn't it? Like quick, quick results. It's really good. Mm. And he's hay fever. 
I didn't even know about the hay fever. So it made a difference to these hay fever too, for these sinuses, so which has been a big problem in his life. So that's amazing. Uh, yeah, so the Mexicana Riviera trip looks amazing. Um, and if you get a chance to watch the video, I did put the YouTube video in the chats and um, Sandra's going to share the, the link to the blog. It, it's, it's worth, it's not very long video, but it's very inspiring. And uh, yeah, Kai and they, they, explain, they explain it very well, don't they? Um, how to do it and how the ranking works. So um, you can have the points deducted. It takes the pressure off you as you go, if you do grow your team and the pressure's taken off you a bit. I feel mm. like that's, that's magic in itself to see that the, the goalpost isn't getting moved away. It's like coming closer as, <laughs> as you go along. Yeah, I, I did put it in the chat, Ron, so it's because I'm under Beck oh. tonight. Oh, yes. 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 One up yep. the top. So that's the blog if everyone, anyone wants to have a look at it. Beautiful. Yeah. Is there any questions? So should we go dive into the World of Sefi groups? Yeah. Do you want to lead it? Yeah, I can give it a crack. Uh, so who in this space has just participated in, um, there's been two CEFI groups at the moment on the nervous system, there's Ali and uh, we've also had the 21 days of manifesting abundance. Yeah, I've, um, I've been in both actually as well. Is it just Ali and Sandra? Uh, I haven't got I've the been whole. been in both too. <laughs> And Patrice. Uh, and Patrice, hi. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's actually been a real learning curve. It's been really awesome to, um, I, I've worked with uh, Paige when she did the, and we did the, co-hosted the detox, 21 days detox as well. And I know Sandra's done, um, done, done them before with Belle and Amanda. And it's really an exciting way to share the subtle energy frequency imprinting programs with your clients and your friends and your family. And so I have a group of 13 within that 21 days abundance group. And uh, it's it, you really work um, on a beautiful relationship, I feel, forming as well as you're connecting with them. So the messages in that smaller group as well as the larger group. Um, and so with it is, a process of the in in the larger group we have like pages already created some videos on what the CEFI group is and um, so there's some information there and guides that people can access so we would recommend um, collaborating finding a friend <laughs> to create them with um, you can certainly do them on your own but it's um, certainly helps to have somebody to bounce off ideas and to help support the group when you're when you're holding that space um, and and it's like when you're holding the space in other areas um, it, it, um, where you create the space and what the intention is and what you want the outcome to be and then looking at um, what information you need to share to do that as well. So at the beginning, what is the CEFI and um, how that works with the scanner and letting people know it's really just like distance healing and how the frequencies will be broadcasted to them and that the energies, all they have to do really is uh, if, if it's available to them to listen to the inner voice harmonics. Um, so with the doing the harmonics on the inner voice, listening to their music that they have, their matrix of sound healing. And if they want to two to four times a day, as general rule, we were broadcasting the frequencies for about two hours each day for the playlists. And there may be three it's normally over three weeks, so the 21 days in three main playlists. And if um, some groups choose just to have silence completely over the weekend of just rest, uh, the ones I've done, we've just done a different sort of a relaxation playlists where it's more it's sort of love, gratitude, forgiveness, and just very gentle frequencies over the weekend. Um, and so just letting the client know it's their choice and how much they participate in that space as well. So it's their choice if they want to be more involved um, and if you want to offer a meditation or um, a weekly get together chat where questions can be answered. And that's a really good way to, to do that, to have the chat, which we haven't done a lot of really deeply actually. It's my fear of doing the lives. <laughs> so I haven't <laughs> jumped on or done many lives. So we all go, we all conquer the little things that when we get in our own way right? So it's a really good opportunity in your own growth and your own expansion as well. 
uh, to, to hold these spaces. It's been a really learning curve for me and I've really enjoyed it. And I've really enjoyed um, seeing the change and the people love it, you know, and they, they really enjoy it. And just it's what we do, what we do, right? Because we just really want to help empower other people. Um, yeah, so there's that is Ness Sandra. So it's just um, creating the space, letting people know what what the um, the goal is, what we're wanting to manifest, or whether it to be um, spring into spring or detox or abundance or the nervous system reset. It could be balancing chakras. It could be anything on that scanner that you know that you love, something you're passionate about. What what drives you to use it? That's really a good place to start, and that's just going to then flow naturally in your knowledge. In, you know, it could be addictions, whatever um, it is that um, you want to do and and that inspires you and that excites you about it um, and you would find that you get your own twist in your creativity in what you create for people as well so there was the the explanations of what the CEFI is you may choose to do just in a voice or with the easy scan and where people can imprint their own water or whatever it is with the reports that you send them and it's up to you how much but what do you think there Sandra? Well that's yeah it, I guess that you're right um Bronwyn because it comes down to I guess what you what your theme is and what your outcome is and and how the how you're going to work it with the, the people that you're doing it with so for the last one we just finished on Friday myself Val and Amanda I think I've done two with them now and then one with the spring into spring program. So this is my third. So I feel a lot more comfort comfortable with it now, which is really good. Um, in our one, we did the easy scan um, and we did the body systems, but we just did the nervous system on the body system scan. And um, we sent the report with the from the easy scan with the music and then just the report on the body systems for the nervous system. And um, as, as Bronwyn said, we'd, we'd already had videos prepared about what the inner voice is, the inner, um, the easy scan body systems. We had videos prepared. So when people came into our group, we, we could direct them to the guides to have a look at everything. And um, we didn't have a chat group. Um, we we found that it was for us we just wanted to have it in the one Facebook group because then we could sort of manage everything a lot better um and that seemed to work really well and we we all took a had a week each so we worked out who was available what week and for that way the, the first week it was Val she was running broadcasting frequency to everyone because we collectively gave the names of the people attending we all had a copy of it so we did our spaces and objects and then we broadcast the frequency um, to the group for two hours. Um, we, we had a different playlist every day for the five days and then we repeated that playlist for the second week and the third week. So um, and then Monday night we did some kind of meditation or a process or, or something and the girls used, um, I know Belle did theta healing, Amanda did some tapping. Um, she also did some some other clearing work that she does as her practice as a kinesiologist. And I did some energy healing uh, meditations and I spoke about the process that, um, that I'd learned through the things that I'd done. So the cool thing about it is that you can actually bring in anything that you want from the experience that you have. And... Um, even when we created the playlists, Amanda put in a lot of effort on, on doing it this time around. But normally we would share all of the playlists we have around a certain theme and then we just um, look at it. And we did all of this, you know, via messenger through voice messages and, and little chit chats and stuff. So we did spend a bit of time with it, but we weren't, it wasn't overly labor labor intensive. But we just went through the the the, um, the playlists and picked out the ones that we thought would work well with the group. And um it's been really good. We've got some actually, oh, can I read you? I've got a lady who messaged me today because she wants to do the the boot camp one that we're doing, and she said, um, think the nerve one did something to my vagus nerve or just got a bit of a change in the body and I, I wasn't really sure what she meant so I said 
please explain. And she said, my brain feels clear. My food requirements changed. Going to say more balanced. So that's pretty good. That's a pretty good outcome, isn't it, for three weeks? And so she that's wants awesome. To, yeah, she wants to join the next program. And, um, you know, for... For me, that's, I mean, I'm, I love it. I love doing these programs. I'm, I'm really enjoying it and I'm really enjoying looking at, okay, the next one we're doing is on weight loss, but not really about, we're not talking food and um, exercise. We're, we're again talking about things like the nervous system, the adrenal glands and supporting people on that frequency level, which then has a knock-on effect on helping them, you know, less comfort eating or or things like that and um that was my dog barking so it's just throwing me off thrown me off my game um so it was really cool to put things together that would support that kind of that, those kind of outcomes that we want and um i've seen bronwyn's um tiles that she's created on canva i mean some of those things were were just really really beautiful we 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 all have our different ways of expressing ourselves so we just used all of our creativity to really just um help the group um what else do i want to say about that i um can i jump in sandra yeah of course um, so talking about um, how we chose the playlists as well, I had so much fun choosing the playlists. I uh, used my um, different healing books on energy healing. Um, so I did a lot of research. I'm a big researcher and what I've learned in my different studies with energy healing and kinesiology as well. And But I just went to like, you know, the... Um, the books that just different emotions and that could be blockers to abundance and really dove deep into um, what, you know, for the last 60 years, they found different emotions that, that block abundance or of course the nervous system is really important there as well. And so looking at the physical, the energy, the emotional and all the things. And so I did do a lot of research and a lot of stuff that we've shared in our group collectively. So in our Frequency Soul Collective group, there are so many Sefi groups or like playlists already in there. And it's it's just a, saves you doing a lot of the groundwork from the bottom up. So it's very helpful. And then trusting your instincts in intuition as well into what you're wanting to create for the outcomes again. And so looking at those emotions and what it are looking to bring balance in the physicals and medical, I guess, um, I then, I muscle tested a lot of it. So I really, with the intention of what we're creating and I, also with the group of people that we had in that space. So I, I, I had those intentions, but I put them in the scanner and I then scanned the group um, in the um, subjects list and I... Um, just kept scanning and when I put the scan in, it actually confirmed four of the things that I was choosing. So in the reach and the affirmations and the chakras and um, the, even the flower, uh, quantum flowers. So those flowers that I had looked at doing came up as a priority for that week in that playlist. So I was so chuffed that they had that confirmation as, as to what I was doing with muscle testing and that work that came up for the group. And it wasn't what I necessarily expected in like the last week. I thought I was just going to be broadcasting massive amounts of abundance, but obviously that would have been unbalanced, right? So it came up in, um, in, in still doing a bit of clearing and creating change and abundance. Yeah, so it's really interesting to really just really use the scanner as well in the process. Like you've got this incredible tool that is amazing also with creating your playlists. And uh, yeah, and if you need to do a bit of research as well, like to trust, to guide where you're wanting to go hmm. and have fun with it. So. That's it. It becomes fun, doesn't it? Once you get comfortable, it, does, it really does become fun. Um. Mm. Has anyone got, got any questions? Oh, sorry, Bronwyn. That's all right. Um, yeah, so I just see Lisa's comment um, about seeing how they're run. And um, I didn't have any clients when I, when I did it either. I just put it out on socials and just used the words about um, probably the – the issue that we have what's to do with abundance so what's blocking you from abundance you know or you're just not on the vibration so looking at just sort of pointing it out in a way people go I really want it I want it so bad but when you want something so bad it's really blocking you from it so just in a language of 
um, what it is that they don't want to um, to to find a you know just in a way of I guess selling it, but sharing the information out there. And because it's such a good price, um, they're getting to experience it, and it could um, flow on as a client in more ways from there or ultimately wanting to have their own program to be able to use it um, but so I when I first did it with Paige I just thought oh this is cool I'm gonna I don't want to pay Paige $99 to do this I want to do it but I want to get it for free so I made an effort to go out there and ask people and the worst they could do is say no Right, and then I could say, well, do you know? Do you have a friend maybe that you think could benefit from this, or would you mind helping me out to share this? And people, once you ask them for help, they love to help you mm -hmm. um, as well. Yeah, so um, don't underestimate yourself in in sharing it. And, and if you think it's going to save yourself ninety nine bucks, <laughs> yeah, well, so, the, other, the other thing you can do is you could do a playlist on it. You could create. Um, playlist like in spaces and like a space and object about what you wanted to create and then save it and and send frequency to it abundance and love and all that kind of stuff that um helps you like a list of everything that you want how many people you want what it's going to look like and then just create it the same that you can use mind sync for that too you know do some affirmations Part of that um, the business splits that we've been doing, I've been doing those affirmations pretty much every day and um, really stepped up the use of the device and it's it just it makes a huge difference. And the more you play with it, obviously the more comfortable you get so it becomes easier to talk about it. I've been starting to make up some tiles of my own to put on social media as well. So I am looking at amping this up as well for in into my business um I'm a hypnotherapist and strategic psychotherapist but I also have um a lot of a well a huge wealth of knowledge really with um chakra balancing crystals uh, frequency healing I'm an empath therapist as well so I just it's about putting it together for me and making it all fit and really um work for my clients so yeah. just getting there Sounds it sounds like it would be a beautiful um, complement to what you do. Mm. Mm. I especially what what drew me to it in the first place was the inner voice and how we it, it really sets out how our emotions are uh, frequency and how that impacts our health and yeah my practice is an integrative practice so I integrate lots of different um, therapies with my clients so this was just a yeah, coming across this for me was, is my point of difference, but it's also made such a difference with how I can help my clients and how much um, it on, on how many different levels I can do it. So for me, I'm excited about doing more in this space. That's very exciting. I, I do know the first group um, with Paige and Beck, they and uh, Belle when they first ran it, they. Literally, or even like your yeah, Becky um, Coots Kimberly, she she just um, broadcasts the frequencies. Apparently, is that right? So just broadcasts the frequency, and it's very simple. So in in the way she manages it, so it, it doesn't have to be complicated, Lisa either. Too. So when you're creating that, you're because obviously you're going to want it to be very organised in how it's going to be able to integrate it and what you're offering your clients too, yes, and yeah. that too. So it can be quite simple where they know they just listen to the tunes every day, speak their affirmation like a mantra, sure. affirmation out loud, perhaps some movement with your integration and listening to those tones. Mm. Um, as you broadcast the frequencies and they, they, you know, that staying hydrated, it, yeah, work beautifully. Yeah, I, um, you mentioned before something about um, sending um, sending frequencies so that they can print imprint their own water. I hadn't even thought about doing that. Like I do that for myself, but I hadn't even thought about sending it to clients for them to be able to do that. It was just not something I thought of. I know, but yeah. I think that's one that's of the so things simple. about being on these calls, isn't it? Because so yeah. many, because the whole thing is about how creative can you be? Yeah, and everyone does it differently. Hmm. We could have a wear a red Monday, you know, or wear a certain, you know, wear blue on Tuesday, like integrating the colours with our sound too. And, you know, like it could be a lot of different um, 
ways to bring it in creatively mm. um, up to what people want to create and do keep it fun yeah of course of course <laughs> I work a lot with um I do hypnobirthing as well so I work a lot with pregnant um mums oh. and bubs and things like that so I'm really interested in expanding that space as well so yeah that's beautiful perfect thank you there's so much you could do isn't there there is the more I start looking at it the more I'm like oh my gosh where do I start we start with you know the um fertility and then move into you know early pregnancy and you know just supporting the body and the emotions that go with that and then obviously through each trimester there's so many different things happening in the body there's so much option for support with the Solex too, like I've gone through and really looked at it in depth since the last week and just thought, wow, there's, there's so much I can put together for clients here. Yeah, yeah. It's it's limitless. It really is. Yeah, it's um, be interesting to see what you create with it too. I'm going to be watching the space. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions about the CEFI programs? Because I know there is so much more we could talk on it, isn't there, Sandra? Um, I don't have Ellie. a question. Well, it's a question, actually. But it was I was thinking with the amount of people that we've had in this group, the abundance group, like, can I just say, you have been amazing at this. I ran an abundance CEFI group just when we got back from the Gold Coast. And wow, you guys were amazing. I'm so... Honestly, it was so good. See, when the tiles came up and you said what each frequency did and honestly, Bronwyn, it was just amazing. So I'm so grateful to have been able to be part of your, your group. It was so good. But what I'm wondering is with these, all the people that were joined, did you send them the report, you know, the positives and the negatives? Was that sent to every person or was it just the frequency music if they didn't have the AO scan? The positive, so that's up to the um, the person who introduced them to the group. So, right. Joe, I had for my group of people, yes, yeah. Um, yeah. I sent them the report. So, um, within my group, yes, I I actually use the multicast as well every day. So did I. So did I. I, I couldn't and help it. myself. Yeah. Yeah. I added them to that because I, I had I, I was the same. I didn't want to spend the money, but I wanted to be in the group. So I found two people like that. And if I'd, have, if I'd have tried before, because there was just that much going on in my life at that point, and it really got to the last point, and I was like, I need to find two people. I literally did it overnight. Um, so I, and I did the same, and I did them to the multicast, and I sent them the reports as well. And, you know, every because we'd done it three times, I got on a call with them, and, you know, I had a chat with them about what's going on in their current reality. Like, what, where can you see these positives that's going on in these different aspects of your life and it was so much fun to do that and because mm. I only had two people in the group it was easy to manage and um, and I did consider jumping on and you know doing a live and talking about that with the group you know in your group but then I didn't wasn't sure if that was the right thing to do and then I wasn't sure if everyone had the report and so I thought moving forward if you ever do it again and and we do do that. I'd love to do a live on that and really, you know, help people look at what's going on in their current reality and how they can, you know, look at the reports. And because once the, they become aware of these negative thoughts, they can release them and then consciously choose the more positive ones and do the affirmations and listen to the music. And it's just so powerful. I really yes. enjoyed this this group, this abundance group this time. It was way better than mine. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sure yours so was amazing. Things. Yeah, Thank it just you. Gave me so many ideas, you know, it was it, really great. It's a lot of fun, and um, yeah. So Joe, Danning, and I have been hosting the the twenty one days of abundance, manifesting abundance, and that wraps up tomorrow. Um, and your videos, your videos were so good, Bronwyn. Like so oh, good. There's no you. reason you can't jump on and do a live. I'm telling <laughs> you, you got this. Yeah. Yeah, it's a whole new world. Yeah, I know. I feel <laughs> it was your a lot pain. of fun creating. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, so the multicast, if if everyone's up to date with that, it's amazing. Like I've done that before I ran my um, broadcast with my frequencies because it clears the emotional wall uh, that Lauren has shared with us. So it, it it can be as involved as you want that to be as well. I 
I'm a bit of a wordsmith. I love writing affirmations. <laughs> so I would create something for my group and then just copy and paste them in. And perhaps if that I knew they were, like from chatting with them, Ali, if there was a particular issue they were having, I might personalize mm -hmm. a little bit and then check the play. And then we can add a little playlist. I always put the weekly playlist in as well. And maybe a chakra balance and uh, around the full moon, I would pop in a parasitic, <laughs> you know, the parasite Thank clearing you. and you stuff really like that. Amazing. <laughs> around the moon energies. Yeah. And what's going on in the world, right? So what's going on energetically in, um, yeah, so just clearing the emotional, which I was calling the heart wall, <clears> the abundance <throat> blocker. And because that's what our space was all about, is about manifesting abundance and the affirmations and the playlist. So I would actually use my screen recorder and record that and send it to the clients, to my clients, who there's um, a couple on the, on the screen, in this group tonight, and um, show each person the quantum flower and the emotion that came through and the affirmations that um, I'd created for that space. So if they wanted to speak it out loud, because I'd just balance those words for them. Yeah. I, so, loved, and, I loved that, Bronwyn. That was really nice. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so it's it's up to you how you want. It's no, it's limitless in how you want to hold space, but then you don't have to, it doesn't have to be as much. It can be very simple too, and it's still going to be very powerful in what you do. Um, but I love that, Ali, with the positive and negative emotions. I didn't actually reach out to my clients and say, ask them um, in this instance, because I wasn't doing consults, if how they are with those emotions and speaking about them mm. if they resonate with that and swapping them over with the positive and yeah, yeah it's and, really and... really good i love it that's what and that's what drew me to this software because i were already looking at stuff like that and then when when i was scanned and showed that report i was like wow this is amazing if you've got some big goals or you've got some things that you're stuck at or you just keep recreating the same you know, business partners or relationship or friendships, and you keep recreating the same thing. This is an amazing report to show you what's been going on in your current reality and where your dominant thoughts have been, you know? And it's fun. It doesn't have, a lot of people can get caught up in it, but it can be so much fun if you've got some really big goals or you've got some really cool things going on that you're manifesting. That's right. Yeah. And, and not getting caught up in the judgment around the emotions. Yeah. Just going, right. Okay. Parts, yeah. And I can see Beck's been in the chat saying, looks like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> uh, so she sent the reports out as well, Ali. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yes, so did we. We sent, the, we sent the easy scan report out and the body system scan report just for, on the nervous system. But um, And we also spoke when we did our video, we explained, gave a bit of a high-level overview of what that meant. So, you know, people weren't freaking out if they saw that there was parasites in their body and that, you know, yeah, it's like. Yeah, so, yeah, with the scans, I just sent them. You know how there's the two bits at the top? There's the one with the vitals and the one without? Yeah. I just never do the one with the vitals because people that don't have the AO scan and don't understand it, it freaks some people out and they're really like, wow, if I got this, if I got that. So I never use that one unless they've actually got the AO scan or they're interested in looking at the AO scan and I've got time to, you know, go through that because some people can get quite caught up in it. Yeah. 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 We did the easy scan report. So, and, and Belle had a really good video explaining how to use it and also explaining how to imprint the homeopathics. So. Uh, Where are you, all these videos? Are they um, in the Cephi group? In the Facebook in Cephi group? Uh, I don't think so. I think they're they're part of Belle's YouTube stuff in our Facebook group. But I can ask if um if she'll share them. We'll I will see if we can share them because they're good. Yeah, yeah. That'd be amazing to have in the Sefi group. Is that going to be a Sefi group we're going to keep for future future twenty one day um, challenges or experiences? Are we going to keep using that? I think Belle and Amanda's is the one that they've created. She might, they might share it. And we do have some, have you seen the ones in the Frequency Soul Collective Cephi group as well? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So they're, they're not as detailed <laughs> in reading the reports, but they are good. They yeah. are really good too. Um, I did see the ones because I was in the nervous system group as well. Yes. Um, and yeah, they, those videos were good, just explaining it and Belle, and Amanda are very good at going through the reports and yeah, um, 
the little videos and yeah so um, but each person when they create their own groups you can um, it's, a, it's a really good guide and even with creating your own if you wanted to do your own group what's that Beck said so we can recreate those videos if the girls can't share them that's right so um, yeah I know that to I'm do thinking. future groups <laughs> I know that I would really like to create some little videos as well so there's so many little things that we can do, um, whether it's in the Frequency Soul Collective of your own or your own one that you do in your own practice collaborations. Um, I wanted to add, one of the things that we're going to do for this next program that we're running is have um, like a, a guide or a checklist of, um, you know, um, how you were at the beginning of the program. Like, say, I know this is around weight loss and helping to support your weight loss. So um, emotional well-being, stress, sleep, um, you know, cravings and things like that. So people can track it over the course of four weeks because this one we're doing is is 28 days and Patrice is joining us with this one, which is, which is really, really good. So we thought we'd just have a, you know, so people have a point of reflection. This is where they started. This is what happened over the course of 28 days and this is where they are now because, you know, we forget sometimes, don't we, that we come to the end of a, a program and we've forgotten what we were like at the beginning of it because we're just remembering how we are current state. So we're going to put that um, with our group too this time. That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. so re sort of like reflections. Uh, yeah, very interesting. That's a good idea. So you have to let us know I'm, how I'm you go. I'm happy to share that because I think I've got the job of creating it. So I'm sure none of the others mind sharing this stuff either. I mean, we're all doing it together, aren't we, really? But, um, yeah, I'll create it and then I'll share it. And then you can do it, you know, you might need to want to make it different again. Yeah. Um, has anybody got any questions? I don't know if I've got much more to say. Have you, have you Bronwyn? No, not really. <laughs> um, I'm just, um, oh, yeah, I, I, I just be mindful of what you commit to as well. So um, with what you're creating, like I, um, I've loved doing the abundance program and I, um, I had a lot happening around those dates as well in my life. So, and also committed to doing the business blitz and trying to like, do more in my business and my practice and see, and there's a lot happening. Like my house is under renovations and if you can tell, so there's a lot going on and being aware of that 21 days and what you're committing to, um, being available so as far as like I was going camping and different things just being aware of your what you've got ahead of you um, in the week before planning and then the wrap up for following up with your clients as well in that week after um, probably just some tips in that um, of what you're committing to and what you can actually follow through on as well and a good internet provider because <laughs> the mercury retrograde was interesting so <laughs> Um, but yeah, and but otherwise, uh, I I just think it's a lot of fun, and it's such an incredible way to share this product, this technology, with the people your your network as well. And uh, people are inquisitive; they're curious, and just just keep putting it out there. And any self doubt that you have, work on that within yourself. Use your scanner, use your mind sync. Um, start working on that self doubt on why um, it might not work because it, it, it's, it is the future medicine and it's here. <laughs> it's wonderful. We've got this incredible tool at our hand, our fingertips. Yeah, so um, any other questions? And otherwise we might um, wrap it up, up. Sandra? Yeah, we weren't even sure if anyone was going to turn up tonight, were we? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we're very, thank Good you very results. much for showing up. Yeah, yes. thank you. Yeah. So it's wonderful. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Have a good thanks. night. And just reach out if you've got questions or you need some help with anything because that's what we're here for. We're here to help everyone. So Please do. Please do. All right. Thank See you, you later. Ladies. Thank you. You're very welcome. We Hi, Anthea. Okay, bye. Yeah. Bye.